I think the magic of baseball over time in American history is that it is so much of a family sport. So that one family, maybe a hundred years ago, where a father got interested in baseball and passed it on to a son or a daughter, and then that person passed it on to their children. And so the memories of previous teams that you loved and previous players still become part of your everyday life. So you're learning about the history of the country in a funny way, certainly learning about Jackie Robinson and his role in civil rights, and you're learning about some of the great pitchers, but it's part of an emotional learning because you love your team and your city. I love the fact that somebody cared enough about baseball to go and do something like that, like the box office sign and the tickets. And it's just very, I find it very charming. I think there's a wide difference between memorabilia collectors and art collectors, and, and that's how we were fortunate enough to acquire some of the art we did, because nobody else was trying to acquire it. Yeah. Uh, no, we had, that was the fun. We would go around and we'd say to people, do you have anything related to baseball? And they would look at us and say, baseball? That, we only have older things. We said, well, baseball started in the 1850s. They, played. they thought we were a little crazy. <laughs> Once in a while, someone would say, well, did you see that? And it would be some wonderful piece that we have, but that we just didn't notice because it was lying down, like a woman's comb, a great big comb that, you know, if a woman wore your high, you stick it in your hair to show, and in it are pictures of someone sliding into base, carved into, into bone, isn't it bone? Yeah. We wouldn't have noticed it, it was just lying on a table, so. Well, I think collections in general just allow you to remember intensely what the thing is you love. You know, whether it's collecting baseball cards or collecting baseball art, um, you can go over and you can feel the pleasure when you get each piece. And there's something about collecting any subject that allows you to fill in blanks of things you wanted so you feel like you're creating your own little mastery of your world and then you can look at it you can share it with people you can put it up on walls and it all represents something that's a passion for for that person i think the reason why baseball has played such a large role in american history is that it really connects families over time you know, one generation hands its love of baseball, or perhaps its baseball memorabilia, onto the children, onto the next children. And there are memories of having gone to games together, of having loved a sport when you were a child with your father, and now sharing that same sport with a child when you're a mother. Part of the strength of baseball is that it lasts for so many days of the year. So you've got 162 games, plus you've got spring training, plus if you're lucky, you've got the fall games, so that if you as a family are following baseball, you've got a ritual every day of reading the newspaper in the morning, watching the game the night before, going to games, um, much more intensely part of your daily life than it is, I think, for some other sports. Plus, the game itself is so slow, so that when you're watching a game or at a game, you can talk. And you often talk about memories of, oh, I remember when that pitcher pitched a no-hitter. I remember when that batter had four home runs. And so it becomes a game where it's also part of the memories of the family that you're sharing together.